Welcome, welcome one and all. I love science. I may not be a witch, but here I am. I am the science witch, and welcome to another ship analysis. And this week, we are going to talk about the fucking gay countries. Gonna start on Hitalia. Who boy. If any of you follow me on Tumblr, you'll probably see that a lot of the things I've been reblogging over the past couple weeks have been related to, uh... Gerida or Gerida, whatever. I pronounce it Gerida and that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. it, just sounds right to me. I've been drawing a lot of it too and just overall it's kind of taken over my life. And I've actually made a good friend from that ship. Uh, shout out to my friend Rio. Um, just gonna set up some ground rules. So major spoilers for Buon San Valentino. Axis Powers, and Beautiful World. Um, and also, as part of this, because I'm honestly convinced uh, the Holy Roman Empire is Germany, or Germany is the Holy Roman Empire. So, that now that that's all said and done, uh, let's analyze this shit. <laughs> this ship is so pure. It's so pure, and so, so close to canon. It's not even funny. Like, come on guys, come on. It's, it, 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 it has to be canon. I mean, there's just so much behind it that makes this ship canon. It's, it's, it's so pure. It is so pure and beautiful and it's so on the fence of being canon. Like, here's- this is the fence. This is Gerida. It's right on the fence, and so all we need is- I f cannot pronounce his name for the life of me, but the guy who, uh, created Tatalia to just be like, Oh yeah, it's canon, and it's like, pfft, canon. <laughs> and we'll be set. I mean, if anything is proof of it being canon, I mean, there has been evidence for it being at least a little bit canon, or at least, um, unreciprocated feelings on, um, Italy's side. Yes, Italy's side. Be- meaning Germany has feelings for Italy, but Italy doesn't have feelings for Germany. Um, since Axis powers, especially, um, Britain and France are making up rumors about the Axis. And one of which is they tell Italy that Germany doesn't really like him and that he feels sorry for him and whatever. I haven't watched it in a while. But, and so Italy runs off to Germany, tells him, Germany, Britain says that you don't really like me. And, and Germany is like, starts blushing. And he's like, no, they're lying. It's not true. Actually, ich liebe dich, dick, dich, I don't fucking know German, but aka, I love you, in German. I mean, and that was relatively early in the show. He he tells Italy straight up like, yeah, I, I don't hate you, they're lying, and actually, I, I love you, all while blushing, and it's like... Boy, if Italy wasn't so oblivious, they'd be going to town all day, every day. And that's just Axis powers. I mean, it's very well known that Italy likes to sleep in Germany's bed. And I mean, part of me doesn't know if this is just Itali- it just stereotypical Italian actions. Like, I- I don't think Italians do that. Like, I know they're apparently the world's best lovers. Which is surprising, because I always thought that would be France. Italy just kind of always slips into Germany's bed. And, I mean, at first, Germany is uncomfortable with that, like when Grandpa Rome came in, he's like, HOW THE FUCK DID HE GET IN HERE?! But later on in, like, Beautiful World, he's openly admitting. I mean, in Von San Valentino, Germany straight up says to Austria, Oh, all the constant 
hugging and kissing and sleeping in and sharing baths and sleeping in the same bed. What sort of relationship would you call that? Right there, in that one thing. Germany is admitting that him and Italy hug, kiss, take baths together, and sleep in the same bed. I mean, all you had to say was hug and kiss and I was convinced. And then just that entire episode is about basically how fucking gay Germany is. It's especially depressing when um, that Germany is very, very likely Holy Rome because, and now I'm gonna explain that, well, at least my views on it. If you look at the Holy Roman Empire, like a map of what the Holy Roman Empire was, and overlap that with a world map now, a majority of the Holy Roman Empire was Germany. And the look, the looks or the similarities in appearance between the two of them is uncanny. It has to be. It just has to be Holy Rome. It's just... I don't feel like there's any way around it. Germany is the Holy Roman Empire. And the fact that in Buon San Valentino, when Italy gives the roses to Germany, he says something, or Germany says, yeah, Germany asks Italy, don't you have a girl or two you like, or a first love? Which Italy replies, well, I did have a first love, but it was another guy, though. Basically, that is Italy admitting the Holy Roman Empire was his first love. Don't even try to say he could have been talking about some other guy. Bullshit. He was talking about Holy Rome. I mean, I don't think that the creator or the, whoever writes the fucking scripts would put that in there without some kind of, um, like, without it being significant, aka fucking Holy Rome. I was like, fucking Holy Rome. No, they were children. <laughs> Oh god, please kill me. A Buon San Valentino is literally a Gerida episode. And I know at the end Japan says how it was a misunderstanding, but if it was such a misunderstanding, then explain why Italy had the fucking heart in his curl when he was having dinner with Germany. And, and Germany's just can't fucking run away from his gay thoughts anymore. Oh, and I haven't even gotten started on Auf Wiedersehen, sweetheart. Oh, shit, man. I blame Rio for this. God, I am terrible with other languages. I just sound like a fucking square. I, I don't even want to explain it. I can't explain it. I mean, if you want a decent summary of it, Watch the video with the same title. It's the first thing you type up. It has like at least a hundred thousand views and I for I can't remember who the person who made it is. It's, it begins with an A, but that gives you like a brief and slightly vague summary of it. But I, if you like Italia, more specifically Gerda, and haven't read this fanfiction, I 100% recommend you go and read it now. It's long, it's 18 chapters, it took me probably about like, it's a full book. It took me probably like a total of six hours to read, so if you've got some spare time and you want to read something kind of pre pretty sad but has a good ending, I recommend you read it 100%. I'm gonna give this ship an A plus because goddamn this ship is pure pure fluffy smutty goodness it's just A plus and it's so so close to being canon it is it falls under the category of fanon along with Sufin so beautiful and so pure and so gay it's just, it's just it makes me happy <laughs> This ship gets an A plus for its practically canon, its fanon, its semi-canon, just its status of canonical, canonic, can, 
canonicalness. Just its fucking purity. Reason they make each other better people. It's got backstory lore, and it's got if Holy Rome, if Germany does turn out to be Holy Rome, then the inner works of their relationship are so strong and attached, and definitely not just political. I mean, Italy admits that Holy Rome was his first love. So. The shift gets an A plus from me. Definitely high up there on one of my favorite ships. Definitely my favorite ship in Hitalia by far. And it's just generally outstanding. I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, if I missed any really big Gerda moments in this, uh, leave. Tell me down in the comments if. Um, you have head cannons. Leave them down in the comments. If you have another, sh if you want me to analyze, I need to make a list. Put them down in the comments. You guys know what to do. So thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, take a stab at that like button to let me know. And I hope to see each and every one of you sometime in the very near future. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye. Oh yeah, and just further proof of the fact that the ship has taken over my life. <sighs> Look at my, my, my background on my phone.